Today, I want to show you what might possibly be the world's most dangerous flashlights. Sold on Amazon of all places. So, enough about that. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so let's open box number one. I had opened box number one before and pulled out these batteries and charger that came packaged right there. But I have not opened the rest of the package. So in this package we have glasses, have some lenses for this flashlight and the flashlight itself. Okay, well, doesn't look like a normal flashlight. Another set of batteries in the flashlight. So that's cool. Got some spare batteries. We can get these charged up. Um, so, the flashlight comes with glasses. And there's also a warning sticker on here. Are you able to see the warning sticker? Here's the manual. If you notice, wavelength 450 nm for a flashlight. Well, that's odd. So what I ordered was this product that's marketed as the Love Rock Flashlight 009 New Long Distance High Power Flashlight Blue Burning Pointer Adjustable Focus with Star Cap. Of course you'll see it's currently unavailable. But there are other similar models available on Amazon at the moment. There really is no description so you really don't know what you're getting it just says flashlight in case number two we have similar glasses batteries similar lenses and a different shape to this particular flashlight Lenses screw in the end, and uh, they are supposed to produce different patterns uh, on the wall or wherever you decide to shine this thing. So what this one is, is the high power blue tactical flashlight for travel, camping, hiking, outdoor. And this one is showing available as of this video, comes with the batteries and the lenses. Well, let's check the description here. And again, we really don't get any sort of information as to what this particular product is. It just says blue flashlight. I'm sure you can guess where this is going since this is primarily a laser channel. Uh, these are not flashlights. They are actually handheld blue diode lasers. So at least they did throw some glasses in there. However, the marketing of these products as flashlights is very dangerous. And someone who just doesn't know and realize what they are could potentially damage their eyes or skin or anything else with them as I will demonstrate to you uh, coming up next. The first demonstration is going to be with this model. I'm going to use this piece of black poster board and show you exactly 
what we're working with here. Again, that is from this. And this is without using one of the, the lenses screwed inside. So if I screw this protective cap off, but you'll be able to see it's a nice blue diode residing right there. And then it passes through another lens and then to the starburst and whatever other lenses they have on there. So there's your blue diode. Okay, diode number two. Obviously it is a blue diode and get it at that right focal distance and we are getting the burn. Not quite as concentrated as the previous model. However, we can loosen this ring holds the primary focusing lens and then the additional lenses. So if we screw that ring out a little bit, we can change the focus of the main beam and then we get a much more intense burn on the poster board. So, in a sense, that helps focus it, which is interesting because as I took that off, there's a spring that keeps it from rattling around, I guess, if you decide that you want to unscrew that slightly and keep it focused. So I guess you can have a portable laser pan. P-A-T-R-I-C-K. Patrick, there, wrote my name. With a blue, Flashlight. All right, here are the two in my hand. And again, you can see on both of them, they do have the diodes down in there. Um, for my next test, let's compare these to the Ortor Laser Master 2. Little bit of redneck engineering needing some duct tape and we can put this on the gantry turn it on and see how it performs against the Ortor. why not all right i wanted you to see the high precision mounting system that i used to mount the blue flashlight to the Ortor laser master 2 laser module the Laser Master 2 is running at 35% power and 10 millimeters per second speed. This is a side by side comparison. I thought that would be a great way to highlight exactly what these flashlights are capable of. This is at 1000 speed. It's a little shaky. But there it finishes up. And I'm going to pull this off of the bed 
and bring it up to the camera so you can see exactly what was engraved. Obviously, it says blue flashlight. The top is the Otor Laser Master 2, the bottom is the blue flashlight. So you can see for yourself exactly how it stacks up against an official laser module. All right, now we have three different materials to test with the flashlight, leather, cork, and bamboo. All right, so here we are with cork. And you can see it is no problem burning this cork. And just put all kind of marks on it. And I'll write my name again. Patrick Light Source. So now you can see what happens to cork. Now we have a piece of leather. And this would be really cool if you wanted to freehand draw and design on some leather. It is no problem at all. And last, and let's see, I'll try to do a little better job on this bamboo for you. Make it nice and dark right there. Like Bob Ross, just a happy little mark. Happy little mark on our happy little bamboo. With lots of smoke, very nice. So there's three different organic materials, no problem marking. How about powder coat? There, once you get to fo uh, proper focal distance, you definitely get some smoke coming off that powder coat. Would this work if you needed to touch up? Maybe. Quite possibly. But it's going to take a little while to burn totally through that, but it is definitely leaving a mark. And as you can see, the stock lens has a pretty wide spot. We can adjust that focus by moving further away. Here we have our perfect distance. There's the stock lens. That decreases our focal distance and still getting a very nice burn. Looks like this laser does better with the uh, flashlight, excuse me, does better with the stock lens. Some leather and the G8 lens on the other one. This one prefers the G8 lens over its stock lens. You can see what kind of marks we're getting there. First set of batteries makes quick work of this bamboo. I get some nice burns. There we go. All 
I think the last thing I'll show just to really demonstrate is just how about a piece of paper? There. If I can keep it at the proper distance, I can definitely cut the paper out. As you can see there. This is just a cool shot of the laser in the smoke. All right, I came across a video from Torque Test, Test Channel. Torque Test Channel is a phenomenal channel to begin with. But they actually have a video on these handheld laser pointers and do some scientific testing with some meters. So it's well worth a watch. I'm going to play you a little clip of it right now. Hiking, indoor, outdoor camping. So it's a blue flashlight for indoor camping. Got it. This one comes in a rather fancy case, so you know it's the real deal hiking equipment and a pair of protective goggles with it. Very responsible. Theoretically, so you see he's opening up uh, the same one that I covered and they have a laser meter and uh, testing glasses to see if they actually blocked any of the laser. I'll put this just for a few more seconds here and now bubbling puddle of plastic our pair didn't let any milliwatts through but realistically this is sort of how safety glasses work they themselves become damaged rather than damaging you though i wouldn't risk it on one of these pairs and damaging things this blue flashlight i'm doing air quotes right now does like shown on our mat here so there that gives you a nice little taste of what's in that video and they cover many more lights flashlights than um the two that I have here with me today. So please check that out. Link will be in the description on the Torque Test channel. So after all this time playing around with these, I guess the real question is, what do I think should happen? Should they be taken off the market? No, I don't think so. My problem isn't that they're on the market. My problem is with the marketing. What reasonable person actually thinks they should put a pair of glasses on, safety glasses, whenever they use a flashlight. That's an unreasonable expectation. So the fact that these are marketed as flashlights is the issue. They're not flashlights, they're lasers. They should be marketed as such with the appropriate uh, titles, descriptions, specifications, all outlined so that anybody purchasing one of these knows exactly what they're getting. Um, shouldn't be any different than if you were buying and or tour laser master uh, as you saw from the video that you could perform the same engraving on some black poster board so that is what needs to happen they need to be marketed as lasers and treated as lasers they are fun to play with that is for sure but i was wearing glasses and taking proper safety precautions so that being said I guess it's time for some self-promotion. Um, I do have 3D printed focal sticks available on my website for purchase in case you need some focal sticks for your Galva lasers, Glock jigs, air assist kit, and hopefully I'll have a couple more different jigs up on the website soon. And Lightburn Galva laser training is available. Uh, if you feel you need that service and be sure and like and subscribe to this channel and also the laser makers realm laser makers realm every other Sunday you will have a live stream question and answer session with myself hobo with wood and Louisiana hobby guy so please tune into that set your notifications on and prepare to be entertained and also, when an episode is uploaded to that channel, it's also going to include a file. So you will be able to learn and make the project that's in the video and then repeat that for the next video. So learn, make, repeat at the lasers, laser makers realm. And I think that's all I have to say today. We'll cut it off there and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.